Welcome to Brick Dragon Euro. I'm Elijah Eason, and today I'm going to be talking about another movie review. Yeah, sorry I haven't done this video for a while. School. School. I have school for Pete's sake. Can you just let, let a guy a break? <laughs> yeah. I won't be getting any more videos soon. Maybe on spring break. Now, uh, don't mind, don't mind everything what's outside. Uh, birds are singing, and my uh, neighbor, he's doing yard work. Anyway, this one's a movie that I just saw a few weeks ago that I forgot to review, but I did it anyway. So, this movie is about everything you should know about Wonder Park. Oh, man. This movie was totally amazing. It's from the same animation studio that made the SpongeBob, made my favorite cartoons like SpongeBob and Avatar. Oh, I'm talking about Nickelodeon. But uh, what the thing is, I wasn't not really excited for a uh, animated Disney movies, but uh, Wonder Park was just like a a true. Feels like a Disney movie to me, even though it's not, but I just watch it anyway, and I think it's great. Anyway? Now, minor note. Some of these reviews may cause some spoilers, so whatever you do, I would rather just hold on, pause the video, and watch the movie, and then when you're done, come back, go back and see my opinions on what you think. Anyway, the... Hey, like I said, what a masterpiece. I'm hoping this one might win an Oscar next year for Best Animated Feature. But anyway, let's not talk about that. Maybe in the future. Here's how the beginning works. In the beginning, Wonder Park or Land, whatever you guys want to call it, was going to be opened with featuring Greta, uh, the Warthog, the Beaver Twins, I don't know their names, uh, Sammy, that's a porcupine, Boomer, and the main attraction, Peanut. They were the be best ones to, uh, oh, to bring joy out to Wonder Park. Now here's, here's this, Peanut has a cool power to create eights from, and create rides from this magic marker, which may, which is pretty cool though. And it comes through in mine, it just like whoosh, 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 whoosh. I got a pillow ride. <laughs> it's not real right. But here how does he do it? Does it come from his mind? Hmm? Nope. It actually comes from June and her mother. Now here's the thing. June and her mother, she was they were the one who created Wonder Park, or land. And thing what, and how it happened is when, it's how he, uh, Peanut got the idea of the, of the mother. She whispered in her ear, in Peanut's stuffed, in the stuffed animal that is named Peanut, holding the marker, and then whenever she whispers, the Peanut from Wonderland, he got the ideas which come to life. For example, the uh, the fishy merry-go-round that also can become flying fish, which is also which is kind of pretty cool actually. <laughs> I would like to enjoy that ride myself. But anyway, all that accomplished because of one brilliant, two brilliant minds. But even two brilliant minds can become one. So during the middle of the movie, June wanted to see if Wonderland could be real. So what does she do? She almost wrecked a house by building a, sorry, not house, a neighborhood by uh, building one crazy ride. And could they send them to military school? Um, they didn't. They caught, because she what? it wasn't her fault. The one thing you should do is always be creative without wrecking anything 
Yeah, hope you're watching this, Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> uh, anyway, so what? The next, they, she, she and her mother, they created their house even longer. Wonderland, even longer. So long, it filled up the house. But, do you know what's sad? And in the middle, the mother, she was having um, a disease. I don't want to talk about it because this is a kids-friendly show. <laughs> then, uh, so she has to go, and it's all up to June. And now June has to create make more of Wonderland and more, but she wasn't oh, really good good at it though because uh, she was going to whisper or what right in Peanut's ear until she realized she can't do it. She, she wanted her mother back. So what she do? She gave up. She actually grew up, started becoming mature and no longer thinking about Wonderland. That's just sad. And then, about a few months ago, well, she decides to go into a camp, and yeah, but uh, she was worried about her dad, so she just dissed the camp. But something crazy happened, which is kind of a resemblance to one of my favorite Disney movies, known as Alice in Wonderland. She found one of the rides. <laughs> yep, it almost feels like Alice in Wonderland, except there's no white hair, just a flying object with her name on it. Which, spoiler alert, helps fix the ride. When she meets her, all of her friends, she realized that Peanut is missing. And she wa now it's up to her to fix the park and make it a better place again. But then, uh, during the near movie, they're uh, being attacked by chimpan zombies. The uh, plushies that were meant for, uh, for fans that turned evil. And where its mission was to feed the broken and wonderland land pieces to the darkness. And spoiler alert, it's all for her fault because she didn't believe Wonderland wasn't real. But then, here's what else. She also found Peanut, who uh, lost his spirit on a uh, creating Wonderland. But then, here's what else. What? Happened then. She sacrificed herself to save Peanuts uh, and the Wonderland, but she didn't really die. No, no way. Nickelodeon would never do that. What she, re what she said was she was the Wonder and Wonderland, and then when she found me Peanuts, she was the one who told her everything. That her mother was the one who given out the ideas for the ride, like. <laughs> anyway, thanks to her help, he helped helped Peanut gain his his spirit back by whispering her him on the ear to make a really long long slide out bendy straws, which I thought it was cooler, and thanks to that. They uh, slide down all the way from the darkness, and all thanks to that, that the gears that was working Wonder Park is fixed now because of her. Because she was trying, she knew how to fix it by spelling her name, J, U, N, E, June, and all thanks to that, Wonder Park was fixed, and the chimpan zombies were no more. And then, you know what's amazing? The chimpan zombies never attacked, which made Wonder Park back in business, baby. <laughs> so then, when June, and then June has to go home to fu see her dad, but then she wasn't worried about her dad anymore. She decided to rebuild the model, which is a miracle. Her mother is Fine, which made me so glad. I'm glad he didn't kill her off. And then, 
they continue on. I think this might learn us a lesson in when watching a movie. You're never too old, old for anything, especially for amusement parks. <laughs> also, be creative. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, share with your friends, and like this video. And I'll see you, you more next time because I'll be doing some more for tomorrow. I might do a top 10 tomorrow. But anyway, make sure you see that soon. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.